everyone, welcome back to another exciting episode of Kitty Cat Gaming. Obviously, you know what show it is. Sorry, I didn't mean to do the whole intro again. Uh, we're playing Marie's Room today. It's a new game, uh, and I saw it was one of the top reviewed ones on Steam right now. I thought we'd give it a shot. It sounded interesting. It's basically walking through a room, and it tells story a story through memories you f of things you find in the room. Uh, and it doesn't support any save files, so you kind of have to play through in one go. So let's get started. I heard it gets dark. I'm hoping it gets scary. I didn't want to come back. I didn't want to come back. Why would Why I, would after, I? All after all that's happened? Even in here. Even in here. So, where is the journal? We gotta find the journal. Okay. Oh, we can walk. Okay, cool. Dad, the journal? Wine guide. California crisp white wines. Mm. I'll need a crate of those when I get out of here. You know, I've recently started experimenting with drinking. Whoa. So live ass pictures. And I still have not had wine yet. I have a bottle of rose at home. I'm interested to try it. Oh, that looks like it's a diary. Yes. Hi, Kelsey. Yes, Hi, Kelsey. I'm talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you. I know you've been reading my journal. Can I ever forgive you for what you did? Honestly, I don't know. I'm trying really hard, but I don't know how. Because I don't understand any of it. You were my friend, and I loved you unconditionally. I did what I did because of you, and I stood up to him because of you. But you, I don't know. Right mm. now, I can't be near Cut scene. You, so I don't want you to come find me. I promise I'll be all right. Marie. Except she wouldn't be. She would not be all right. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. We have a dream. She once asked me. Don't you ever dream, Kelsey? And I said, I don't. I don't dream. I plan. It's true. What I didn't tell her was that I wouldn't allow anyone to mess with those plans. Why are you talking like this? It's creepy. Why does it want me to keep looking at the journal? <laughs> Last hope. Nothing was different. I have a dream. Oh, I guess the more things you find, the more things that are in the room. Fill out the journal. I get it. So you can know your progress. So what else should we click on? Our phone. That's Trevor's phone number. He called her. I know he blamed her for everything. But she should have blamed him for what he did to her and Mr. Torres. Uh-oh. What'd he do? I need to find the key. A five-figure number. Oof. Okay, well, I haven't found anything that looks like a key yet. Wake me up when I'm famous. It's like a Dexter meme, and it's Dexter, like, looking at his watch from Dexter's lab, and it says, like, uh, it's been five minutes, why aren't I famous yet, or something like that. I love that one. Orange peels. Have you ever peeled an orange so juicy the drops erupted from underneath the skin like fireworks in the setting sun? No, but you make me want to. Trees garden had them. I used to live off his garden vegetables and fruit. Before I Stealing? Met Gasp? Okay, what is this? Kelsey's backpack. Okay, so I'm guessing Kelsey it's just went missing. Cheap. I got used to them after I didn't want to go to the food kitchen anymore. The vicious taste of these meatballs still beat the humiliation of being served by Marie. Okay, so I'm guessing she met Marie from working in the soup kitchen? Oh, cat. She must have a cat. Those are shoes. Cans. Ooh, turn on the TV. Ooh, my journal's being updated. Let's see, it's have muted. Seen this man. <laughs> yeah. I've seen him. What does that mean? Creepy. I'm carefully looking for stuff to click on. 
Ooh, whiteboard. Chemistry holds no surprises. Love that. Okay. Uh, oh, no, this is the same whiteboard thing. Think like a proton and stay positive is cute. Uh, good golly, Miss Molly. Ooh, a ring binder. Ah, uh, yes. The science project. She must be like in high school or college? People, they chose to pair me with the girl from Food Rescue. Outrageous. But I got over it and chose to work my ass off. I had to if I wanted to get that scholarship. That's right. Sheet of paper. It's Marie's birthday. That's weird. I guess she wrote it down for that Ben guy for her pizza and movie party. Sounds like a rad party. Right, I might have been a little jealous. Why? You can have a pizza movie party too if you want. Dude, anyone can have a pizza and movie party if they want to. Just gotta buy that pizza. Mr. Torres. Thick as thieves, those two. It's like Patton Oswald. Ever since Lorraine died, they only had each other. Marie was suffering when he was in intensive care. Oh god, he died? That was a nasty knife wound. He got stabbed? Did we stab him? Why are we in this girl's house? Are we a stalker? Like, I get she's missing, but is she missing because of us? Wow, I've seen this trash can before. Like, I feel like that's a real thing. A ripped shirt. Trevor. What an asshole. After we broke up, he got violent sometimes. One day, he dragged me through the school hall by my shirt until one of Marie's geek friends stopped him. Ben, I think it was. He got a lot of shit for it later. Wow, so she got beat up? We got beat up? It's kind of unclear. Ooh, a laptop. That'll have lots of information on it. Oh. Uh. Trevor? She must have written it down here somewhere. I'm not a bitch. Damn, what's the password again? I need to find it. All right, yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> we'll find the password. Uh, open notebook. La La, La Land. Land. That movie was a shit piece of crap. Glad Trevor snuck us in. I don't think I could have handled wasting 20 bucks on that. Never thought I'd see Marie there. Then again, she always was a dreamer. I bet she loved it. She mm -hmm. never realized I didn't want to be her friend in public. Oh, so she recognized it in private, though? I never saw La La Land. Was it good? Right, let me know down below if I should watch it. Huh. Oh, map. Marie always dreamed about going to Europe. Yeah, Europe's great. I don't think she ever went. Okay. Mm, shit. Don't say it like that. She might still, right? She's still alive, right? Sometimes it got so hot. This thing wasn't doing it anymore. Then we'd take off to Mr. Jones' swimming pool. That night, I guess he must have seen us. Were you guys lesbian lovers? Is that what's happening? That's a dumb poster. Who would have that as a poster? Vinyl box. Ooh, beer bottle. Mr. Torres loved that beer. Wait, what's he doing in their house? The robbery. He only had a couple left. Apparently, they were hard to come by. Still, we decided to try a bottle yeah. once. Marie loved that label. She drew it in her journal. I remember that. All that <laughs> happened later that night, I'm not sure. Maybe I don't want to remember. Oh, something bad happened in Mr. Torres. All right, well, we have fully circled the room. I think, right? No, how? We haven't seen this. There's no such thing as food waste. And don't I know it. The smell of garbage will be in my nose forever. And the taste of it in my mouth. I swore I would never be that hungry again. I didn't care what it took. Hmm. Well, that's good. Kelsey's she asked me why I was so angry all the time. And I told her because it's a dirty deal. It's Russian roulette and utterly unfair. The yep. cards I'd been dealt, any player would have passed. I chose to be angry instead. But Marie, my friend Marie. That's so cute. She got me a new deck and suggested I deal again. Aw, what 
a great friend. That's a great idea. I like that. Pizza boxes from her pizza party night. On saving these. She was going to make a new world with them. What? Whatever that was supposed to be. I've never actually seen her build anything. A new world with them? Did we miss this shit? Stone. I didn't like that she kept the stone. Why did she have to be reminded? I told her I was sorry, but she said it was for me to remind me. Ugh. What is with the jars of money? Smoking jar. She hated my cigarettes. Every time I felt like going out and buying a pack, she made me put the money in that money jar. One day, that money would pay for our gas to drive to college. We only needed money for the one way. I ended up using it to get to Vancouver. So they're high school students? What are the other jars for? There's smoker. Does that say mogul? What is that? Vinyl. The world. Something day. Comcast? <laughs> what is it? I can't read it. Okay, whatever. I think. Oh, did we see these? I can't look at those. Well, she just got a crate of oranges in here, huh? Oh, bike basket. Trevor was never far off, though. Oh, we can zoom. When Marie and I rode our bikes through dark nights just to get a taste of those perfect oranges, I knew he was lurking in the shadows. Who? I never told her, but I think that's how he found us. He followed us back to the room. Who was this asshole? I'm gonna crush him. All right, what does that say? Concerts. The world something day? The world's something day. The world. I, ugh, God, who fucking cares? Okay. We can't go in the closet. We apparently have no reflection. <laughs> they did a good job on these glowy stars. They actually look like glowy stars. Um, let's see what a journal looks like now. Oh, look at that. Food rescue! High school kid saves classmates from hunger. It's really nice. After that school article, people kept asking me why I did it, as if it were some kind of, as if I was some kind of hero. So stupid. And I kept telling them the same story. Aren't they sick of it yet? Maybe I should publish a book, my life story, so they'll stop bugging me. Crazy people. Here, for the last time, last fall, I caught a kid stealing someone's lunch from a backpack and he stuffed the sandwich in his mouth. Our eyes locked. He panicked, dropped the food, and ran. I never realized some of my classmates were actually hungry, so I joined Food Rescue to help there. The end. Everyone satisfied? Oh, that's really sweet, though. Um, that was in November 9th, and then, like, two weeks later, she wrote, Oh my god, they put me on Resley's team. My heart races whenever I stop to think about it. Don't think she's all that pleased, though. I wonder whether she remembers me from Food Rescue. God, I hope not. I feel so connected to her. Isn't that weird? I'd love for us to be friends. She's just amazing. Can't wait to start working on our science project. Did you get that? I feel like I'm going to explode from excitement. Oh, our project. Are we that girl? Oh, wait. There's more. <laughs> I screwed up, but I was worried. I'm still worried. And what else could I do? Kelsey hasn't been to food rescue in a while. I just wanted to make sure if she was hungry or something. So I offered her my sandwich. Ah, why did I do that? Now I'll never, now we'll never be friends. Good one, Marie. Really, really well done. She looked at me like I was crazy and walked out. And now we're behind with the project too. I hope we make the deadline. That's cute. That was a couple weeks later. Uh, and then the next month, she wrote, We're all just matter. That's what Kelsey keeps saying, and she's right. But matter is also life, and life is something we need to take care of. She likes to be out on a limb. She says she got nothing to lose. Bam. She didn't even realize what she was saying. Or maybe I'm too sensitive. Because, uh, guess that'll show me to believe that we were friends. I guess I'm a shadow person after all. I think she's going to break her neck, by the way. See if I care. Life matters. Loving the chemistry. What the fuck? Ah, uh, and then the next month, fuck, I'm so stupid, I finally got to see La La Land, they showed it on Classics Night at the Theater, I went with Ben, loved it. Kelsey was there too, I was so happy to see her. I actually freaking, freaking hugged her, and she pushed me away, asked me what I thought I was doing, and that Trevor Asshole was enjoying the show and her stupid cheerleader friends. 
So we're a cheerleader. Uh, and then later, the next week or so, she's okay, I've calmed down a bit that Lala night she was with Trevor and he is such a fucking asshole. She's different when she's around him. Not that it makes it all right. But she did come straight over to tell me she was sorry. She knows she was wrong. Uh, broke my window with that damn rock. She said I'd answer, if I'd answered the call of the pebbles, she wouldn't have thrown the rock. She's been here ever since. Doesn't have anywhere else to go, really, except for Trevor. I'm glad she'd rather sleep here. Right now, as I write this, she's on the bed going over some notes from class. I like having her here, and Dad's okay with it. Aww. Uh, you may have noticed, sweet journal, that there are less and less F-words in these pages. I'm so friggin' proud. <laughs> Only when I go berserk, like when Kelsey threw that rock through the window, but that's it. Hard to keep up. But then it's hard to keep up. Did you know that as a little girl I used to curse abundantly, trying to extend my vocabulary here? Dad thought it was... It, Dad thought it indicated intelligence, and I guess it looked cute up to a certain age, but he said Mom hated it. So every time I used the F word, he made me put a piece of candy in the swear jar. Uh, can you... Can't tell you how much that hurt every time because I'd never see it again. I think he secretly ate it. He must have rejoiced. Yep, vocabulary extension again. Every time I swore like a madman. Mad woman. Must have. Swear jar. So that's why she does the cigarette thing. Uh, all is now harmed. Kelsey is so angry at the world. I like on all the time. It's kind of annoying, but I get it. We all have different story to tell. This was a friend. I did the only decent thing. I told her she could do anything she wanted. She just had to make it happen. Not wait for it. I told her to deal again. Not drugs. The cards. That's sweet. It's weird to know the other side of it, though, because I thought it was just a nice saying, and now we know that Kelsey... Did drugs, or sold drugs? Kelsey broke up with Trevor, finally! Yay, it's like two days later. She can do so much better than that total loser. He assaulted her in the school hallway. Of course, no one saw it happen, but he literally tore the clothes from her body. I promise not to swear, so there you go. But she's done with him now, things can only get better. And then two days later, I think he's crazy. He keeps calling me at the most impossible hours just to yell at me, calling me names, threatening me that if I don't let Kelsey go, he'll do this or that. As if I have her tied up here. I now unplug the phone when I go to sleep. Wow. Sounds like that guy was going nuts, so. All right. Well, I guess next time in the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we're going to go into another room and see what else we can find. So far, I'm interested in the story. There's a lot going on here. Uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss it, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody!